Right, in this video, we're going to find the gradient of each of the following that are x is equal to 2. We've got y is equal to 3, y is equal to 3x, and y is equal to 3x squared. So what we've got is a two linear functions and a quadratic. Right, so we've got y is equal to 3. Now, if we look at the graph of y is equal to 3, now when we find the gradient function, we're finding a sort of formula for finding the value of a gradient at a certain point. But if we look at this line, y is equal to 3, Everywhere along this line, it has a gradient of zero. So that's quite quite important. So if we now apply the rules of differentiation, if we rewrite this as y is equal to 3 to the x to 0, we can do that because we know that x to the 0 is equal to 1. Then if we apply the rule of differentiation, we've said this, y is equal to kx to the n, dy by dx will be n kx to the n minus 1. So dy by dx, if we apply that to that, will be equal to 0 times 3x, and the power is 0, and we take away 1 from the power. Now, 0 times anything will be equal to 0. And that does correspond to what we found in our graph here, that the gradient anywhere at the, the, this graph, and even at x is equal to 2, the gradient is equal to 0. So therefore, dy by dx gives the gradient function. And note that the gradient function of y is equal to k, any constant, so y is equal to any number, will be equal to zero. So when you differentiate, because this is the process that you do here, a constant, you will always get zero. Right, if we now look at the next case, which is y is equal to 3x, and if we look at the graph, now using our idea of y is equal to mx plus c, c is zero in this case, m stands for the gradient, we can see that the gradient of this line is in fact three, and we know that from y is equal to mx, and y is equal to mx, m is the value of 3 in this case. So therefore, y is equal to 3x to the uh, 1, if we rewrite that. And then using the idea of differentiation, because what I want to do is show the algebra backs up the geometrical interpretation of this. So we've got y is equal to kx to the n, dy by dx is nkx to the n minus 1. Therefore, dy by dx means bring the power down in front, we've got 1 times 3x and then reduce the power by 1 as well and so we're going to have 1 times 3x to the 0 now we know that x to the 0 is 1 and therefore we're going to get the answer of 3 which is what we knew the gradient of this line is so therefore the gradient function of a line y is equal to kx will be dy by dx is equal to k. So in this case, k was 3, the gradient will be 3. If it was y is equal to 2x, the gradient would be 2. If, if the gradient of the line, if the line was y is equal to minus 2x, the gradient would be equal to minus 2. So we don't really need to go through this procedure in order to find the uh, gradient function. Now, if we've got y is equal to 3x squared, then if we've got y is equal to kx to the n, dy by dx is n kx to the n minus 1. So if we differentiate the function, find the gradient function, if we take the 2, we bring it down in front, we times the 3x, and then we take 1 from the power. So that gives me 2 times 3, which is 6x, and then 2 take away 1, which is 1, which I've got above to write in. And therefore, it actually changes the gradient along this because it's actually a curve. At x is equal to 3, dy by dx will be... Sorry, at x is equal to 2, x is equal to 2, dy by dx will be 6 times 2, which is 12. If we draw the graph of y is equal to 3x squared, if you notice here, this is the point P at x is equal to 2. Then we note that the gradient of the tangent, because that's what it is, because this is a curve, at x is equal to 2 is 12. So if I draw that line in there, you get 12. 
And if I draw that line in there, you get 1. 12 divided by 1 is 12. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find the gradient function of a horizontal straight line, uh, any straight line, and a quadratic. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.